evacuated and roads closed in Irisburg after a massive propane tanker fire. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lucy Kale. People forced from their homes can stay sheltered at the Irisburg Town Hall overnight. State police say multiple roads in Orleans County will remain closed overnight and the evacuations in effect in Irisburg and Coventry will continue due to a slight risk of the tanker truck exploding. Our Haley Morgan has the details. That tanker caught fire about 15 minutes away from where I am standing. The area has been closed off all day long as first responders monitor the area as that propane tank burns off, which will likely last all night. I just heard a huge, loud, crazy crash, like explosion is what it sounded like, and it actually shook the house. Megan Chelifo says she called 911 early Monday morning after seeing a tractor trailer unit crash into the Black River across the street from her house in Irisburg. Picked up my phone, called 911 um, to get emergency people out here and knew that there was definitely a vehicle that had gone off. And I made sure I woke up everybody in the house. Um, and my husband came down and he helped to come outside to try and assess the situation. Police say it happened just before 7 a.m. The tractor trailer unit loaded with thousands of gallons of propane slid off the bridge due to snowy conditions on Route 14. Police say the driver, 44-year-old Casey McQuaid, was able to escape the truck and was not injured but transported to the hospital as a precaution. The propane in the truck is burning off as part of the vehicle's safety design, which will keep people who live in a mile radius of the crash out of their homes Monday night. Just be, uh, be kind of um, uh, understanding of the, the precautions we're putting in place. Um, we completely understand uh, we don't want people out of their house any more than they want to be out of there. Uh, but we want everybody to go home at the end of the day, including our first responders. Despite the evacuation, Chelifo says she's glad that everyone involved in the crash was okay. Because of having our older ones and with my husband, it's somebody needs to make sure whoever was in that vehicle or that situation, they're okay. And then the secondary is, yes, let's get us out. We still don't know how much propane and oil got into the Black River. That's something that officials are working on right now. And again, officials say they don't know how long they're going to be at the scene for, but it could last about 24 hours until that propane tank burns off. Reporting in Derby, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.